Oh my gosh, guys, it's still there. What the heck is that? Get our hand up into here. Hopefully, oh, oh, oh. there is another animal up here. All right, well, we are filming on the phone right now, so I don't know how the audio is gonna be. But look at that. We're just fishing. We're gonna have to end this fishing day short because, well, I'll tell you in a second. Let's let this guy go. Beautiful largemouth bass. Let's get this guy over here in the opening so you don't throw him right in the grass. Got some tadpoles down here. Look at that. Bunch of little tadpoles. There you go. And he's off. So, guys, I was just fishing over here at the canal. Caught a couple fish, but my mom just texted me that she saw an animal tail inside the gutter. She thinks the dogs might have scared it in there. I don't know what it is, but regardless, this fishing day is going to be cut short. We're going to have to hop on the camera, head back to the house, and, well, see what the problem is. And we are back on the regular camera. I am trying to head to the house as fast as possible. I don't even know if the animal is going to be there when we get there because my mom put the dogs inside, so I'm thinking whatever it is ran into there. It could be a rat, could be a possum, something like that. I don't know but hopefully it's there when we get home so that way we can see it. But I'm also hoping that the animal isn't hurt. Uh, I really wouldn't want my dogs or the poor little guy that's stuck in there to be hurt. So gotta get over there as fast as possible to assess what's going on and then see, I guess, what we gotta do to fix it. Totally forgot to give a proper intro. I'm Landon Chair. welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, Welcome to the channel. We always have some sort of crazy animal experience going on here, usually with the chimpanzee or something else like that. My little friends over at ZWF Miami. But anyhow, I will see you guys when I get to the house. We are pulling up into my driveway now. My mom said that she did so, still see the tail when she last went into the backyard. So I think it is still there. Let's see what is going on. Oh no, look who it is. Look who it is. Thing one, thing two, and thing three. We actually have my sister's dog here right now. That's Maverick, that's Piper. Hey, 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 get down. Not allowed to jump. And that is Finn there in the middle, my sister's dog. She's home for spring break. Now these guys, are just lovers. You guys have seen them here on the channel before. All of them, oh my goodness. Who do we have here? Maverick just actually did his first show. I'll put a picture of it right there. Look how gorgeous he is. And he did so well, he got fourth place. But guys, let's see what is in the backyard. Move, move, move. Move it, dogs. Move it, mutts. All right, so she said it was right. Oh my gosh, guys, it's still there. It is still right there. Look at that. What the heck is that? Now, I think I know what this is, but I want you guys in the comments down below to guess what type of tail you guys think that is right now. 12 seconds later. Now, luckily, we got here in time. Look what my dogs have done to the gutter. They've totally mangled it up and trying to get this guy, oh, he hears us. He is trying to get out, but there's no way up. Okay, so my sister is on the camera now, which means I don't just have the one hand, but I have two hands now to get this thing out. Now, this definitely is not a mammal. If you guys guessed raccoon or rat or possum, mm. this is not a mammal tail. This is going to be a reptile tail now. By the looks of it being striped like that in green, I would say it is not a snake tail. And well, I'm thinking it's an iguana tail and I think we're gonna be right on that because it's bright green and it has these bars on it and I don't know how big he is because this tail can taper way down. Oh look, he's trying to get up in there. And before he gets any further, we're gonna need to get our hand up into here and try to get him out. Oh, like I said, the dogs have totally bitten holes in the gutter, and so I'm surprised they did not get this guy's precious tail here. 
try to reach my hand up in here. Hopefully, oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he goes. He's coming out. He's coming out. Look at that. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. Now, you're not so bright green. Usually, is just, he's as bright as his belly, or almost. He's all dark because he's stressed out. Poor little guy. Now, just like I was saying, luckily, this guy didn't get attacked by the dogs. Look at the way that they bit on this metal. Now, my mom heard the dogs going crazy out here. She came out and that's when she saw the tail. I was trying to get a picture of it on our way over, but we weren't able to get it. You guys have seen me catch iguanas here on the channel before. They are invasive, so they do not belong here, but no animal deserves to be eaten up by dogs and tortured by them or whatever, getting their tail tugged at while they're trying to just hide in a gutter. He was probably basking just over here, right here in this heat, we have a lake in my backyard, so there's a bunch of these iguanas basking here. Dogs came outside to go to the bathroom. He ran, and that was the nearest place to hide. So, really happy we were able to get him. Let's check on the dogs. Now the dogs are back out, and they're already back on that gutter smelling it. Maverick, this is not for you. My mom does make treats, and I, have helped her with the business. Live positively if you guys wanna buy some dog treats. It's not iguana though, Maverick, look. We need to be nice. We need to be nice to the iguana. See that, look. Nice to the iguana. So, now that we have the dogs out, I really wanna to check to see if they're bleeding by their gums or by their teeth and their lips because they were really biting at that gutter, it seems. So we're gonna to have to check on them to make sure they're all right now that that iguana is okay. Let's see, what do we got in here? We got some pretty teeth. We got some pretty teeth. That Piper's looking, Piper's looking clean, right? They're looking clean. Let's get Finn over here and see if she's okay. They are panting like crazy. Finn, come here. Finn, come here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check. Let's check. What do we have in here? Yeah, you're panting like crazy. They didn't get a chance to really go out because they were chasing that iguana and I had my mom put them inside. So now they've been playing that we let them out. But Finn is looking, oh my gosh. Guys, I think I heard something in the gutter again. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like it's coming from up here. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Guys, there is another animal up here. It's not green, but I think it's another iguana. You see the banding on its tail? This guy's bigger. He's coming out, it looks like, too. Hold on. Poor guy. Let's try to get him out, out of there. Come on. I don't want to cut him on the metal. Let's see. Kind of stuck in there on those ridges. Hold on. Try to get my hand up in there. Oh, come on, it's okay. We got a foot, we got a foot. Come on, it's okay. It's okay, we got two legs now. This guy's definitely bigger than the last one. Oh, there he goes, he's coming out. He is coming all the way out. Look at that. There was two iguanas in the gutter. I'm sorry, are you a little bit beat up there? Are you a little bit beat up? Well, you're okay now. No dogs are after you now. We had to put the dogs away. I don't know, I hope there's not another iguana up there, but I guess he was standing on top of the other iguana in there. Must have been two out here. And well, with three dogs versus two iguanas, these guys wouldn't have made it had this gutter not been here. Oh my goodness. Let's get these dogs back out here. We've got Finnegan over here with us, Maverick and Piper over there. She needs some water on this hot day. Maybe we'll let them in the lake. No iguanas for you. I'm not trying to stress these iguanas out any more than they need to be, but we gotta do this closing, guys. I'm glad these iguanas are safe. I'm glad that my dogs are safe. They didn't get cut up by the gutter. These guys didn't get cut up by the gutter or the dog's teeth. You guys have seen Finn on the channel before with the worms. 
nasty worms, but she doesn't have those anymore. So, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you guys want, subscribe to the channel, check out more of the videos, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.